hi guys today i'm going to give you a review and a few tips to install berkeley jansen gazebo which i purchased it from bj's uh, the first thing you're supposed to do is which is not in the instructions first put these horizontal pieces with the poles by using uh, this middle piece which goes in the corner uh, what it's gonna do it's gonna make them 90 degree exactly and it will line up easily all together if they don't line up it means your ground is not level then in that case you can dig it out a little bit and make it in level so it's gonna serve two three things first of course gonna be everything is in lined up and the main thing is when you're gonna put the fabric on the top it will be so easy for you to put it on otherwise it's gonna be so tight because nothing is lined up there so that is very very important so now um, as you can see I'm doing it in fast forward it's already night and now it's day I started it again it took a fair like three three hours I would say four hours maximum and here you can see everything is done lined up and now I'm gonna have my breakfast I have some Indian uh, food with some cheesecake and here you go now you can see from the top how it looks it looks pretty good there's a pass through for wind so you know uh, it's gonna protect it not gonna tilt or anything during the high winds which is pretty good sometimes you know and you can get a nice breeze from there also i put this little old style lantern in the nights looks pretty good you know when you eat under the gazebo uh, I am an old soul I like those kind of things so and here there's some uh, mosquito nets so which is very useful during the evening and summertime as well as a privacy curtain if you don't want to be bothered by your neighbors and um, yeah they, they are on four sides so you know they're pretty good so this what you can do is one more thing is uh, put uh, ground stakes I purchased this one they are like 30 inch long and I put them all the way down to about 2 feet or 26 inch into the ground and I connect the wire which goes through the pole and so during the high wind they're not gonna go anywhere because these gazebo they tend to be blown away by the air they, they are, their design is like that the air builds up in them and then uh, tilt them you know so you gotta do that and yeah once you've done that then you can enjoy nice flowers you know if you have some and nice weather nice breeze outside you know and right now what's going on in the world is we can't even go out so this is one of the best thing i could give to my uh, family you know they they wanted to ha have that something like this so guys if you like it purchase it it will be pretty good all right guys see you later bye bye